Why would I hold all these women? Their mothers and fathers told me we're going to destroy your career. <laughs> Hello there, you beautiful faces. Welcome to The Viral Report. I'm Lamar. All right, make sure you check out and subscribe to our sister channel, The Viral Report Unfiltered, for non-celebrity related content. I'll be dropping some videos over there soon, so I need you all to go check it out. All right? <laughs> well, the feds recently swooped in during the night like some darn federal ninjas and confiscated and charged R. Kelly as he was walking his dog outside his Trump Tower apartments. Now, the federal indictments in New York and Chicago are accusing R. Kelly of kidnapping and coercing women and girls into having sex, producing and receiving child pornography, inducing minors to engage in sexual activities and taking part in a conspiracy worth hundreds of thousands of dollars to cover up sex crimes going back decades. And it looks like R. Kelly is getting ready for the fight of his life now that the federal government is stepping in with charges against him. Now these federal prosecutors are definitely coming for R. Kelly and his camp. I don't think the rabbit hole stops at R. Kelly. I think there's someone bigger than him that he reports to. This sex ring or cult is just, is just too massive for one person. And let's be honest, this is an entirely different ball game from his life in 2002 where he was last charged with child-related sex crimes. Those charges led to the 2008 trial where Robert Kelly was found not guilty after prosecutors couldn't prove that it was either him nor a 14-year-old girl in this grainy video. R. Kelly was recently denied release from jail as the judge deemed him a major threat to the community, especially young girls. Instead, Robert will remain in custody and housed in solitary confinement. <laughs> and you know what? I can just picture R. Kelly in jail like cookies in there. Not none, dogs. I want a cookie. I want a cookie. I want a cookie, yeah. I want a cookie. <laughs> that video gets me every time. So after the feds snatched R. Kelly off the streets of New York, the savages that, you know, the attention-seeking parents of Joycelyn Savage interrupted a press conference regarding R. Kelly. Take a look. He's probably going to be arraigned sometime today. Uh, he's probably going to have uh, his born here in sometime next week. Any questions? I got a question. Where is my daughter at? Where's Jocelyn Savage? We don't want to come to hear your lies. Where's my daughter at? Let, let, let me talk. First of all, I know nothing. About you don't know nothing. You're you going to ask my question? I'm going to let you ask. Okay, Go ahead. But you got to be quiet. Let me talk. Answer it. Answer First of all, your daughter, I have nothing to do with your daughter. We know, but hold up a second. Hold, 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 hold up a second. Hold up a second. Hold up. Hold up. You was at the Trump Tower yesterday. Of course, had no meeting. Uh, I was not at Trump Tower. I, I said we was at Trump Tower yesterday. I wasn't there. Yesterday. Yesterday. She wasn't there. Well, being checked. Well, 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 I moved her. Okay, so come on. I ain't moved nobody. No, you a part of his camp, right? I'm not a part of his camp. Why are you? Are you speaking for him right now? Hold on, hold on a second. Let me explain something to you right quick. Are you speaking for him right now? Let me explain something to you right quick, because I'm not gonna allow you to come in and my press conference. No, 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 listen, 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 What do you mean? Let's be intelligent. Wait, 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 hold up, Are y'all going to let me answer the question? Go ahead and talk. First of all, Mr. Kelly, I haven't been in Chicago in a week, okay? Hold up, let him talk. Let him talk. Y'all going to be asking my questions? Go ahead. Okay, y'all coming at me as if I have your daughter. No. I'm not, hold up a second, I'm not a part of any camp. I am a contract worker who's hired to do a job. No different from these people with these cameras right here. So who hired? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't work for Mr. Kelly. Who hired? I work for Mr. Stephen Greenberg. Okay. Now, uh, hold, 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 hold up a second. Hold up a second. I haven't, I haven't been paid. Are down. you not a good? Hold up a second. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him. Talk. I have not been paid one dime. 
I foot my own way. I do my own thing. We're not worried hold, about hold, 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 hold on, 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 hold you guys been through that? That was long before me. I have nothing to do with anything anybody told you in the past what happened. I tried to negotiate something with you guys, it didn't work out. Now, uh, I personally don't know your daughter. I've met your daughter six times. I've seen her in and out of Trump Towers. I haven't seen anything that I would say is suspicious or harmful to your daughter. Zero, okay? Now, um, the person you should be addressing this to is Mr. Kelly and Mr. Telly, Kelly's attorney. I can't tell you anything about your daughter. But I don't, you're here speaking. I don't work. I don't no work. Advice. I don't work for your. I do not work for your daughter. I do not. I, I work. Shortly after R. Kelly's arrest, you know, R. Kelly's girlfriends, Azrael Clary and Jocelyn Savage, you know, they came on camera to show their support and let the world know that they're in good spirits. Go ahead and take a look at what they had to say. Hi, my name is Azrael Clary. Hi, my name is Jocelyn Savage. Sorry, <laughs> believe is playing with his squeaky. So if you hear that, that's. That's what's in the background, but um, we actually just read an article saying that um, we were evicted from the Trump and um, saying that you know we were under emergency living and all kinds of stuff like that. We just wanted to let you guys know that that is not true. We are here, we are at the Trump. Um, I'm gonna show you guys actually our view um, so you guys can know it's real. Um, it's Grammys back there, you know, so. Um, yeah, we're here at the Trump, and um, you know, Joy's parents are all over social media. Yeah, they, they know where I'm at. Yeah, we've been here at the Trump, you know, we've been here for years. Um, we move freely, we come and go freely. We actually just left out this morning, and nobody said anything to us, you know, no one stopped us, no one, you know, harassed us or anything like that. So, um, we just wanted to clear that up and let you guys know that that is fake news, and do not believe everything that you hear. Um, other than that, we want to say thank you to all of Robert's fans. Um, we see the support that you guys are showing him all over social media, Twitter, Instagram, everything. We see you guys going in and we are just so thankful for the prayers, for the love, for the support, everything that you guys are yes. saying and doing and trying to do to help him. We are just so thankful for it and we love you guys for it. Thank you so much. These young women definitely have some major issues with their parents. The parents definitely share some blame around how their daughters ended up with R. Kelly. If you're still confused as to why these two women are still around R. Kelly's place at the Trump Towers, these girls explain their reasons why they're not eager to return to their parents. What's your relationship, both of you, with, with, with R. Kelly? We're with him. That's yeah, our relationship. We're with him. Yeah, we that's what it him. is. <laughs> and we're in a relationship with him. You right. just said it. Uh -huh. A both, very strong relationship as both well. Both of you. Yes, yes, most definitely. You know, how do we say this without being inappropriate? Is this a three-way relationship, or do you each have a separate relationship with him? How does this work? Well, both I'm of curious. those. Yeah. Both we both have our individual relationships with him, and right. we all are family all together. We have our moments where we sit and watch movies all together. We go to amusement parks all together. I'm not talking about Azrael going to movies and sitting watching, uh, going to parks. I'm talking about is it a, is it a three-way sexual relationship? Sexually, between, well, first of all, I'm not here to talk about my personal life, okay. and I would never share with no one what I do in or outside of the bedroom. And as a woman, I'm sure you would not either. Yes. No, I wouldn't. But I. But, okay then. But, so no, yeah. No, you're Next right. question. No, you're right. I would not. But this is a very different circumstance. It's not a different it's circumstance. A there are people all over the world who have multiple girlfriends. It's no different. Do both of you all believe you're in love with him? Of absolutely. Course. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Of course. Should your no. parents be concerned? No. Why? <laughs> well, my parents knew where I've always been for four years. They have known, they know that I've been well taken care of. They never thought you were missing, Azrael. They just were wondering if you were okay. Well, my parents have actually came to Chicago and seen me a few times. They've, uh, I've talked to them. They stopped answering my calls. You know what they say? They say that you are you are brainwashed. You're, I talked to your dad last night. He says, my daughter is brainwashed and he's very concerned. He said he was here two days ago and you wouldn't even look him in the eye. Okay, I wouldn't look him in the eye because he's a liar and he's a manipulative liar. 
I'll tell you why they're concerned, Azurel, because they say she's 17. We found text messages that indicated that she was having sex with R. Kelly when she no. was 17. Is that true? No, that is a lie. That is a lie. I was not having sex with him at 17. Why would they want to lie about you, their daughter? Okay, so <laughs> when I first met Robert, my parents told me to lie about my age. So when I met him, he thought that I was 18. On top of that, when I was 17, my parents were actually making me, trying to get me to take photos with him, take sexual videos with him, all kinds of stuff. Wait, 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 your parents encouraged you to do sexual videos yes. with R. Kelly? Yes, and they said because if they ever have to blackmail him, what they're trying to do now, they can use it against him, which is exactly what they're doing. Uh, Joycelyn, I see you nodding a lot with what yes. she's saying. Why are you nodding in agreement with what she's saying? Because everything that she's saying is true. Um, our parents are basically out here just to get money and your they're parents, scamming. You're saying the same as saying? Well, both for, our parents, both for our parents are basically out here and trying to get money and scam because they didn't agree on what happened, you know, with music or wherever it could be, and they're just very upset. This is the first time hearing, to be honest with you, that your parents are trying to get money from R. Kelly. Okay. Because your father told a very different story <clears throat> yeah, to well, me last night. Yeah, he's, he's the manipulative. He's very manipulative, so <laughs> he's the one you need to watch out for. But uh, my dad and my mom, they started to send threats to both me and him. They said, oh, I'll put all your naked pictures all over the world. I'm going to ruin you. I'm going to ruin him. If he doesn't send $20,000 to this bank account by Monday, oh, I'm going to put everything out there and then $10,000 after that. You're trying to solicit me like I'm some hoe. I'm not. I'm your child. Exactly. Yeah, you sound very angry with your parents. You sound very angry and very pained. Tell me, Ashwell, why you're crying. Tell me. I'm crying because you guys don't know the truth. You guys I believe in some facade that our parents are saying. This is all lies for money. And if you can't see that, you're ignorant and you're stupid as because you want to be. All because that's the world we live in. Negativity sells. Exactly. Gossip is what sells. Exactly. Rumors are what sells. Exactly. But Jocelyn and, and Azrael, this is more than gossip. This is more than just rumors. These are decades of allegations against Robert Kelly. We're not here to talk about decades. We're here to talk about what our parents are doing right now. Right. And what they're doing right now is all for money. Right. Well, folks, as you can see, Azrael Clary is definitely the spokeswoman of the R. Kelly sex camp. You know, at this point, the women are grown enough to make their own decisions on whether they want to stay or leave the R. Kelly space. I think the women are just uh, wrapped into something much bigger than what we're seeing. And if the reports are that R. Kelly is broke, then why doesn't he have a public defender? And let's be honest, R. Kelly's lawyer, Steve Greenberg, is not going to go to hell and back to fight for R. Kelly if his compensation uh, is uncertain. Now, that's why R. Kelly is in jail now, because Steve Greenberg puts on a tough guy fighting for his client <laughs> in the public, but behind closed doors, he knows R. Kelly is guilty as hell. Uh, well, obviously we're disappointed. Uh, we were hopeful that the judge would let him out today. Uh, I think that's appropriate. There's a, uh, he was talking about presumptions and there's a presumption that he shouldn't get bond unless we could show that there were conditions that were, would ensure basically the safety of the community. The fact that these allegations are decades old, the fact that he hasn't done anything there's no clear danger presently or anything like that uh, we thought we'd get him out but the judge saw it otherwise and uh, we respect his ruling and we'll look at, at our options from here but he's not there's no evidence that he ever did it you know it was very interesting the uh, uh, prosecutors said that the, that the people previously tampered with witnesses on his behalf they didn't say it was at his behest they didn't say that he knew anything about it. Okay. No, they said that they did it on his behalf, that it was for his his benefit, and that he orchestrated it. There's, there's not going to be any evidence. This is where I'm going to end the video because I'm working on an R. Kelly documentary video for the channel. So what do you all think about this crazy situation? Do you think R. Kelly is guilty? Do you think he's just being framed? Do you think that... Um, R. Kelly's lawyer, Steve Greenberg, is actually fighting tooth and nail to keep his client out of jail. Apparently not. R. Kelly's in jail, right? 
So just what do you all think? Do you think that people around him throughout the years should be roped in and, you know, thrown in jail as well? Or do you not even care? Let me know in the comment section below. Stop shooting, killing, robbing, you know, stealing from each other because it's a lot of things um, out there that you can do. You right. know, I'm a proven fact. Exactly. You, know, if you really exactly. look close to television. Uh, you can see that I grew up in the hood and there was a lot of things, a lot of routes I could have went, but I chose this route. You know, God gave me a talent and it's up to you to um, pursue it. Right. You know, mm -hmm. Go on and do what you're supposed to do. All right. All right. Oh man, we about to get this party started. If you made it this far in the video, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe, like, and that notification bell. It ain't a party until you subscribe. I love you for watching and I'll see that beautiful face in the next one.